All right, Shalom, Shalom, Kahalo Yom La Yahawa Bahashim Yahweh Shah Bahashim Rakakwadash. It's a Paleo Hebrew for the one true name of the Heavenly Father being Yahweh and that of the Messiah whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus being Yahweh Shai. As it is written in Acts 4 and 12, there is no other name given among man whereby you must be saved. Point blank, period, man. I'd like to give double honors unto the elders and the apostles at GMS Great Millstone who have taught me this truth through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. And a sincere peace, love, blessing, salutations unto all those of you who have been called, who have received this calling, and who are doing the best to make the calling of your election sure, man. Lord, will this be edifying unto you? As you see in the background, I got pulled up a song by Jimi Hendrix called Castles Made of Sand. Right? This uh, song had come to mind when a particular scripture was being spoken of during camp. And I thought it would be a fitting lesson, um, you know, for what we're going to go in on, man. All right. And you can kind of get the... Uh, uh, the gist or the understanding of the song just by the name, right? Um, I'm going to go straight to the chorus just to get to the point. It says, and so castles made of sand fall into the sea eventually. And hey, man, it's it, <laughs> just as simple as that, man. You build a castle, right? A sand castle. Eventually, it's going to melt into the sea. And why is that? Because of the fact that it's built upon sand, right? It doesn't have no foundation, right? If it was elevated, if it was upon a you know, upon a foundation of some kind, then, you know, it'd be cool, man. But <clears throat> due to the fact that it's not any type of rain, any type of, you know, wave of the sea is going to just cause this thing to completely disappear. And it's going to be like it never was, man. All right. Now that's likened unto our walk within this ministry, man, which is why we must be very careful, very cautious, because there's a lot of different beliefs a lot of different Israelites popping out the woodwork, man. Right? And uh, we've got to make sure we have a proper foundation built, man. Which we're going to get into what that foundation is. But first and foremost, let's get into the uh, parable. Matthew chapter 7 and verse um, 22. It says, Many will say unto me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? You have many people out here. Right? Speaking of the scriptures, man. You have many people out here putting on their fringes, putting on their garments, right? Or whatever the case may be. Taking on the identity of a, of a Israelite, you see? As it is written, this prophecy is taking place, man. But just because they've taken on that identity, just because they say, Lord, Lord, does not mean that they are of the elect, man. Because again, there's a foundation that must be set up. Going on, it says, and in thy name have cast out devils and in thy name have done many wonderful works and they may have man they may have been able to do all this that and the third right a lot of these israelite groups setting up schools and doing all sorts of you know stuff that really we have not been commanded to do man but nonetheless they're doing it in the name of the lord right under the identity of israel whatever the case may be but let's go ahead and continue right we again there's a proper way to do this man set up that foundation you don't need to go out and do all this extra stuff man all right and again we'll get into what that foundation is but going on uh verse uh 23 and then shall well i profess unto them i never knew you depart from me ye that work in equity right again a lot of these people claim to be or or even believe to be following right the heavenly father man but what they're doing is what Matthew chapter 15 and verse 9, it says, But in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. Really, you're following just a group that's doing their own thing, right? Underneath some kind of banner of Israel, underneath some kind of banner of the Hebrews. But really, they're following their own doctrine, man. They do these things that are outside of what we have been commanded to do. It's superfluous, man. Right. And again, some of them don't even understand that that is the case, which is why verse 14 says, let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, they both shall fall into a ditch. So you got to take heed unto who it is you're listening to, man, especially at this time. You got all these different Israelite groups out here. All right. The Passover is coming up, man. A lot of these groups getting ready to party and bullshit for the Passover. Probably go to the strip club again or who knows. Right. Go pay to. Anyway, 
hey, we have a particular way to do things, man. So going on, Matthew chapter 7 and verse um, 24. Therefore, whosoever heareth the sayings of mine and doeth them right. The sayings, man, the sayings are right here within the book. You see? But a lot of people don't believe in what's in the book, but they believe in their own doctrines of men. A good example of that is how we started the lesson, right? Acts 4 and 12. There's no other name given among man whereby you must be saved. That should have been enough for every single person to have read that verse to say, look, this is what the, this is what the, the, the book says, man. The guidelines, right? The book that we claim to all believe in, but ultimately people are going to believe what they're going to believe, man. And these creatures, these, these people have it have a, a, a have their mind frame built up to a point that whatever they decide is the truth initially <laughs> that's 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 going to be it man they will fight you to the death but some of us have been given the spirit man to get out of that 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 the flesh <laughs> to think beyond this flesh man what does the scripture say Casting away mortal thoughts and thinking upon immortality, man. All right? And realizing, hey, we've been lied to, man. Humble down and believe in what's written, man. Rewires yourself according to what's written, man. As it is written, uh, uh, Ephesians, the fifth chapter, right? We're baptized by what? The washing of water by the word, man. This word has to wash out all that filth and rewire you, man. <laughs> we've been reborn. Don't you understand? Verse 24, it says, um, therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which has built his house upon a rock. So there's that foundation, man. Right. A house that's built upon a rock. Going on, verse 25. And the rain descendeth and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon this house and it fell not for it was founded upon a rock and every one that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which has built his house upon sand and the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon the house and it fell and great was the fall of it so there you go man <laughs> right exactly kind of word for word what we read out of the uh you know that that quick chorus you know but further broken down right yeah how i always always uh always says it best man you see, but yeah, man, hey, a uh, 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 beautiful point that must be uh, driven into our heads, man. This is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 3. Let's see what that uh, foundation ap actually is, right? Um, verse 10, it says, according to the grace of God, which is given unto me, this is Paul speaking, right, as a wise master builder. So he's saying what? He's been given a role to be a wise master builder. Other, in other words, in this ministry, right? As we're building, right? This last temple, according to prophecy, which <laughs> began in ancient times, man. It began when Yahweh Shai, right? Ascended up into the heavens, man. When he uh, uh, did what he had to do. And that's why, as we continue, it's going to tell us that foundation, which is going to bring it all together. It says, I have laid the foundation. So Paul laid the foundation, right? Well, let's see what that foundation is. It says, and another builder thereon, all these Israelites out here who are claiming to prophesy and put their hands to the plow are building, man. We're building and building and building and building upon this temple, right? Going on, it says, but let every man take heed how he buildeth thereupon. So you can have people building in vain as we started the lesson, right? Depart for I never knew you because they're building their own type of building, man. And some of them don't even have a foundation, which is this. For other foundation can no man lay than that which is laid, which is Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. So that's where the foundation begins, man. The understanding that Yahweh Shai was that Passover for us, man. That sacrifice for us, you see. In order to atone for the sins of the elect, Yahweh Shai's blood was spilt for that, man. So a foundation was laid when that took place. So this ministry begins with Yahweh Shai, man. All right? This building. So you got all these Israelites building, many of them not even building upon the foundation of Yahweh Shai, right? Which is why ultimately, man, hey, you have no connection to the Heavenly Father. 
Yahweh Shai is the only way to go back, man. He's the only one to have been perfect in this flesh, to have overcome the law. <laughs> it's just that easy to get, man. Verse 12, it says, Now if any man build upon this foundation gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, stubble, every man's work shall be made known, for the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire, and the fire shall try every man's work what sort it is, man. Hey, the fire is coming, man. The fire is coming. And that's going to prove who got it and who don't, man. You see, you're about to see some miraculous things taking place, some miraculous deliveries among the elect, but outside of the elect, things will not, hey, again, depart for I never knew you. <clears throat> All right, this is Ezekiel, as you saw. Ezekiel chapter 13 and um, verse 10. This is because, even because they have seduced my people, right? These are who? Those false teachers, man. By saying peace and there was no peace. So they did the same thing in ancient times. You see, they're going to do the same thing today as we already see prophecy unfolding. It says, and one built up a wall and lo, others daubed it with untempered mortar, saying to them which daubed it with untempered mortar that it shall fall. Then, shall be an overflowing shower and ye o great hailstones shall fall and a stormy wind shall rent it lo when it is fallen shall it not be said unto you where is the daubing wherewith we have daubed it hey so untempered mortar right if you're building a foundation you must temper it in ancient times they put lime and you know different things on it to bring the air bubbles out to solidify the foundation in modern times, we use, uh, you know, they use uh, uh, vibrations. So they'll shove a big vibrating tool in there to push out all of the air pockets, man. If you don't do that, your house is built upon a horrible foundation and it will crumble. You see? And again, that foundation is Yahweh Shai, which in that alone, with it being Yahweh Shai, that gives us the faith to continue, man. Why? Hebrews 4. And 15, for we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the filling of our infirmities, right? Or how high priest, Yahweh Shai, right? As you see in verse 14, seeing we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, Yahweh Shai, the son of God. Let us, let us hold fast our profession. So because Yahweh Shai overcame, now we can hold fast to our profession, which our profession is not being a potter or a tinner or a damn concrete worker vibrating the air pockets out. But we're doing, we're doing that in a spiritual sense, man. Right? It says... But was in all points tempted like as we are yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. Hey, that's a proper foundation, man. To know that Yahweh Shai already overcame for us, man. We already got the win as long as we endure. Why? Because we have a foundation which has been built. That is so solidified, man, that we're able to come with boldness. To the throne of grace of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. You see? So Lord willing is edifying, man. I'm gonna go ahead and stop it there. Alright, hey. Cast castles made of sand, gonna mount into the sea eventually, man. Gonna be the name of the lesson. Shalom. Kahulayam la Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai.